How's it going, everyone? Laughing here, and once again, it's a very special guest. Someone! <laughs> and today, we are going to review and discuss Episode 6, Decommissioned, uh, of the Star Wars Bad Batch series. Um, so, getting right into it here, we get into a general kind of synopsis of the episode. So, once again, the crew is on Ord Mantel, hanging out at Sid's place. Uh, Omega's getting some target practice in, and they are tasked to find a tactical droid head. Uh, so, you know, someone somewhere wants to get some good info on potentially fighting clones better, uh, which is interesting because, uh, you know, clones, empire. Anyway, they go to a, a fan favorite planet, I dare say, Corellia, which is pretty exciting, to a droid decommissioning. Uh, facility to try to snag this tactical droid head where they run into the Martez sisters which you know if uh, you like them fantastic if you don't like them also fantastic uh, where um, yeah basically Bad Batch and the Martez sisters are all kind of fighting for the tactical, tactical droid head um, then they are forced to work together to get out uh, Wrecker hits his head a lot and uh, We'll talk a little bit more about kind of what happened with that a little bit later on. But uh, eventually they get out of the facility and we see a the Martez sisters talk to a very uh, strange cloaked figure who we don't really know who they are. We know it's a he. We know that much. Um, but uh, yeah, that's pretty much it. And it does kind of explore a little bit of, you know, what is the Bad Batch really doing? They're just kind of floating out there kind of freely and this is kind of a push to potentially have them have a little bit more agency as to kind of what they're doing so that's kind of a general synopsis uh, of the episode um, so we'll kind of start off from the beginning once again talk a little bit more in depth uh, opening kind of scene uh, Omega suddenly a very bad shot <laughs> yeah very different from uh, holding up a little blaster um, I liked the struggle. Mm -hmm. This makes sense. It's a big, heavy weapon with many mechanics, mm -hmm. and it requires strength, so it makes sense that Omega is struggling. So thank you for not letting her be just magically fantastic at it immediately. Yeah. <laughs> I... I am happy that we also got to see a bit more of Sid's character, because... She comes in there and takes the bow from Omega, and then she just whips out three <laughs> shots all in the bullseye. That That's the sick. end of the lesson. <laughs> it's like, oh, okay. Yeah. I, I said. <laughs> it was uh, it was really cool seeing Echo have a little bit more of a speaking role, actually like teaching Omega um, how to do it better. So I enjoyed that. Like I said, Echo is probably my favorite in the Bad Batch. Actually, yeah. I'm. I'm uh, switching that maybe a little bit I just we, we've seen so much of Echo in the Clone Wars and um, he's just a good character so yeah I'm really happy that he got a little bit more of a, of a speaking role in this episode he had some funny parts too which we'll maybe yeah. talk about a little bit later um, but yeah I agree I, I really enjoyed uh, you know seeing Omega struggle and, and try to actually work hard at something so being naturally gifted at it I think it's important to character development that being said I really hope that uh, future episode, she's st like still not like bullseyeing everything uh, quite yet. Uh, I need to see a little bit more development with that. Uh, but it looks like they're going in the right direction it's at the more very, strength very least. Training at least. Yeah, you know, pounding out some uh, some push-ups with Wrecker maybe. Yeah, or... <laughs> that'd be great. That would actually be really great. Yeah, uh, agreed. So that would be cool. And lifting the Onk droid. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> there we go. No, she'd have like mouse droids. <laughs> yeah, mouse droids. <laughs> I love it. That's fantastic. Um, but I am happy you brought up Sid. So, um, yeah, Sid is kind of using them, but it's pretty outright about it. She's not like uh, trying to be like coy or whatever you know she's like yeah well you know you need money i need you know decent people to do a job you know what else are you gonna do i'm, I'm pretty much it go do the job mm -hmm. <laughs> so uh i kind of kind of dug that you know it is mutually beneficial but you know what yeah um i am distracted by our feline oh okay friend. gotcha 
<laughs> She's having the time of her life over there. That's that's good. Yeah. I appreciate that. Oh, jeez. <laughs> What'd you think of the Bad Batch, Charlotte? Okay. No response. Anyway, um, but um, yeah. I mean, any anything else you want to talk about, or anything to add on with uh, with Sid's character, or you good? Um, I'm mildly interested on who she gets the job postings from. Yeah. And I'm mildly interested in her background, but for now, I think they're doing just fine with her writing. I don't mind the mystery and intrigue. It's good. She is a confident female character, and so far it seems to be done right. I'm um, no complaints. Yeah. About Sid. Agreed, and she's a trained 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 ocean as well, mm. which is kind of cool. I don't I, see many trained oceans uh, well, in the. Uh, movie and cinematic media yeah at the very least uh female ones yeah like and we there was a few episode arcs in the clone wars but if i remember it they're all males so kind of cool kind of cool I to see i think the only one we really see uh is the bounty hunter bosk yeah bosk yeah yeah so yeah kind of cool to see um so yeah then they go to corellia which is really cool to see. I'm pretty sure we saw it a little bit in uh, the solo film, whether or not you like it or not, what have you. Um, but really kind of cool to see. Once again, Corellia, especially in Legends, is a really uh, important planet, significant planet. So happy to see that they're getting some, some more love in the animated universe here. That's awesome to see. Very busy place. Ex yes, very much so, very much so. Um, and then we also get to see kind of what happened to the CIS droid army, which I was really happy to see. Some good, once again, really good lore built into the episode. Uh, so yeah, I guess, what you, would you think of that kind of part of it? Makes sense. Makes sense? Makes sense, and I thought they did a good job too. Lots of details, foreground, background. Mm -hmm. It was very thorough. Yes, agreed. The issue, I'm kind of jumping towards the end of the episode. Okay. Um, why did the battle droids all magically have guns? Yeah. On them? Yep. Yeah. Where did those come from? Yeah. I th That's like the only thing that didn't jive. That did not make sense. <laughs> yeah, I don't know. Like, the guns have to be worth something. Like, those guns aren't the greatest. Um, but, like, weren't but the... But is melting them really the best well, weren't thing? This... And also, why are they all placed right next to the dro I don't know. Well, weren't the security <laughs> droids using, like, the exact same guns, too? Yeah. I don't yeah, know. Yeah, I think they were. Yeah, so it's like, why wouldn't you just have more guns? Okay, whatever. Anyway, I agree. That was kind of weird. The super battle droids made sense. Yes. But, um... So they're, like, always equipped with those. Yeah. I will say, I did think it was kind of cool seeing the battle droids in action uh, against other battle droids. Uh, oh, it was smart. It was actually kind of a smart move, mm -hmm. uh, writing wise, and it's cool to see. So that was that was neat. Um, but yeah, I don't know. I, I like I really like that lore element though of us seeing a little bit more of yeah you know, CIS droid army get melted down and and used, and kind of explains a little bit why we don't see them as much um, later on in uh, in Star Wars. So, um, all right, I'll let you uh, take the next part. The sisters, no. they're back. Thoughts, feelings. I have a feeling you have more oh, to say on this than I do. Man, you guys, I cannot stand those two. I absolutely cannot stand those two. I think they're terrible characters. Their writing is consistently bad, and I just want them to be gone forever. I hated the Ahsoka arc with the sisters. Totally superfluous. I don't want them in the story. I don't want them. No. And honestly, like, this episode was trending towards a pretty high rating for me. <laughs> and then they showed up, and I was like, oh, tanking down to four. That's oh how God, much dude. I cannot stand them. That's fair. <sighs> I, I don't like them either. <clears throat> I will say that much. I will say, I feel like they're better in this story arc than what they were in The Clone Wars Season 7. I think it's too early to decide that. Well, no, I'm just like, you know, I think that they were, I, I didn't mind them as much in, in this episode as opposed to the th four arcs. God, yeah, four arcs in season seven. So, they weren't as bad 
And I think part of it was we didn't have to deal with them more, but we're going to see them again. It's no. going to happen. Um, yeah, I don't, I, I don't like them really either. It, but it didn't ruin it for me, but... And I'm sure there's a grander plan as to why. And maybe we can talk about that a little bit more later at the end of what... Uh, you know, conspiracy theories as to why they're back. Not looking forward to that. I mean, I, I... <laughs> if they're used, if they're used specifically as a vehicle to connect characters with other characters, again, again, yeah, again. Yeah, I guess it is what it is. I don't know. Hopefully, we won't we don't have to put up with them that much more. But we'll see. We'll see. I feel I feel they're trying real hard with them. They are. And they did it in season seven, and they really wanted everyone to like them and no. I don't Can't know there's not really likable especially like the eldest sister she still has a really kind of bad attitude she's like slightly better slightly better than like, season 7 I don't care seven, if a character but... has a bad attitude it's just like it's just a dick <sighs> even the younger sister I feel like there's no point for them to be in the story at all why are they here I don't care why they're here it doesn't make sense <laughs> Why? I don't care. <laughs> like, <laughs> Jeez. I still want them in the story. I, I, will, <laughs> I will say one thing in their defense. Uh-huh. Is they... I think fan, like a lot of... Not necessarily you, but I think a lot of fans in general don't like them simply because they took up four episodes in the final season of, of the official kind of Clone Wars. Yeah. You know, the Bad Batch is a continuation where, like, there is a lot of other story arcs that people would, would have preferred to see, like, you know, with Asajj Ventress, Boba Fett, what have you. I definitely and, would have preferred Asajj Ventress. Yeah. You, some even, more time. Even though Ahsoka was the main focus, it, like, she was the, literally the best part of, of those arcs, and I don't know, I just, in general, I just, uh, one or two arcs, I could have dealt with but four like i don't know it's too much too many arcs with them i'm not in. happy we're seeing them again so that's fair i don't blame you um all right moving on <clears throat> um so wrecker yeah called wrecker. that one yeah slowly but surely S didn't turn um so he hits his head real hard they, i think they did a really good job with that yeah. it's like that moment was super intense with all the noise going on around him and he's just like struggling ah, good soldiers ah, yeah oh that was that was done well <laughs> didn't we hear a uh, crosshair a little bit too in the audio yeah match? in yeah. the voice yeah yeah so that was so that was interesting it was good foreshadowing um yeah which i gotta say like having them choose wrecker to be the one that has his chip like kind of like flicker on and off i honestly think is the best choice because like even out of the bad batch it's like wrecker is still like an outlier even with them we're just like i'm gonna do whatever i want kind of thing he's like very very outspoken in the fact that he might be the one that you know turns into like stone cold like you know follow orders thing i find extremely fascinating like crosshair was the most obvious out of them and i feel like wreckers on the other side and them mm -hmm. being like all right you saw the, the one most willing to you know follow orders here's the one least willing to follow orders and you know let's see how the chip affects them yeah um so i, I actually really like that all I think those that was a good uh move. hits to the noggin <laughs> for real also, like it makes sense with wrecker <laughs> i will say like <laughs> how many times does this guy need to get hit in the head it, i will say it is kind of getting like to the point where it's like is it the chip comedic? or is he just concussed like yeah <laughs> like for real dude <laughs> it's it yeah i guess like out of if there's any sort of negative or point that i'm just like with that that i'm just like uh on it's just the fact that it's just continuous it's it's it's, it's like a meme almost like all right I, I i i'm gonna predict in my in the future wrecker is what is this wrecker he's gonna hit his head in the next episode oh <laughs> You know, yeah. <laughs> no duh. Yeah. Um, but yeah, I w still very slow, which I dig. Um, <laughs> uh, still very slow. It's still not immediate. We hear him say "good soldiers," but that's it. You know, it's it's breadcrumbing with that, which I, I really like, and I think it's going to come to a really good head later on yes. uh, in, in the season, which I'm excited to see. I so, agree. and we're like officially a little bit over now. 
uh, a third of it because there's 16 episodes. I looked it up. So, um, cool. All right, good soldiers. Uh, we already talked about uh, the B1s having guns randomly. Yeah. Uh, I guess, did you did you enjoy the kind of the fight scene there? Yeah. It was okay. Okay. Um, I found the sisters very distracting, of course. <laughs> Um, the whole Omega versus the younger sister. Like, the younger sister left Omega on the conveyor belt, pinned, and ran away. And then later, like, Omega falls down, obviously, because she's pinned. She can't get out. And she ends up in the fire pit. And then she's like, oh, I'll be your hero. And comes yeah. back. And it's like, yeah, you could have helped her when you were too busy being a jerk earlier. Like... Yeah, kind of conflict of interest with that, or maybe that's not the right way I, to put it. I swear, it, but... just anything dealing with those two sisters is just bad writing. Or maybe those characters just suck that much. <laughs> I will say if they, they do... are constantly waffling all the time. Yeah. That is kind of their MO, is they, they have an action, immediately regret said action, and then have to basically fix their own mistakes. Yeah. Yeah. It's kind of, and that's that's boring. It, like yeah. it's boring story writing and kind of lazy to an extent too. See, like, especially continuously. Yeah. But but that I found very distracting. Aside from that, I thought the fight scene was well choreographed. Hmm. See, it was good to see. I like. I really like the action in this episode. I thought it was it was good. So, um, cool. And, all right, so kind of fast forward to the end. You know, they escape, yada, yada, yada. Very, very fun. Um, the Martez sisters give the Bad Batch a lift to their shuttle, mm -hmm. and we see a familiar droid, uh, specifically R7, Ahsoka's droid in the Clone Wars, fixed up. Um, I will say there was some weird inconsistencies with the paint job. Uh, the first time you kind of see it, it's like has the red and green colors, if I remember correctly. And then later on in the episode, it's black and gold. I don't know. Kind of weird. Weird inconsistency there. Uh, they'll probably fix it, probably. Knowing Disney Plus, that's what they've done in the past when fans have caught a oopsie doopsie. Mm -hmm. um, so, yeah, I, I expect that to be. Uh, more of the same with that. Um, but yeah, kind of cool uh, to me. That kind of says Ahsoka's... Ahsoka might pop up in Bad Batch. I think that may or may not be kind of a safe bet. But uh, also, we're going to see more of the Martez sisters. For sure. I can guarantee you this is not the last that we see them. In some capacity. So, um, yeah. But uh, yeah, kind of cool. R7 was there. Um... My, okay, so I said this when we were watching it. I think the Martez sisters are going to be a vessel for the Bad Batch to meet potentially Ahsoka, and if not Ahsoka, at the very least, Rex. Mm -hmm. I think that's going to be the case. I think that's why they're back. I think that's what they're being used for, uh, for an overall arching story-wise, anyway. Yeah. Any additional thoughts or feelings on that? Uh, wouldn't surprise me. I again, I just see them as unnecessary. If Ahsoka and Rex are tied into this, couldn't Ahsoka have gone and done this much, much quicker and easier? She's probably doing her own thing, though. What is she doing at this time? Probably running. <laughs> is my guess. Uh, yeah, I don't know. I'm probably running and trying to hide, lay low from the Empire. So, yeah, probably being in the core in Corellia is probably not a good place for yeah, her to be. Yeah, that's a good point. So, but the Martez sisters make sense because they're based in Coruscant and the core. So, I understand. I, I get it. You don't like them, but they make sense in this. Yeah, I'll concede. Th this time. <laughs> um, all right. So, yeah, kind of cool. Yeah, got a feeling we'll see our, you know, some fan favorite characters through them. And then we see a mystery character at the end. Yes, those robes look rather fancy. Who do you who do you think? Potentially. I think 
your guess was probably correct. Okay. Um, you you go said, ahead. You said it was Bail Organa. Yep, I think it's Bail Organa. I think that's a rather good guess. I don't know, it's just fancy robes there. And they said he. Mm-hmm. So, yeah, well, that would be kind of my guess to Bail Organa. If not Bail Organa, a new character. Part of me actually wondered if it was someone who also works like for the Empire and the sister just lied and was like, oh, no, we're helping people. Well. Like just to try and get sympathy points or maybe she actually knew that they took something. I don't, know, I don't, I don't trust think she's her. That, I don't think she's that smart well, she to lied. know. Yeah, she was pretty dumb. And they have R7. So I don't. R seven to me is, is that's a, a huge, pretty good indication that they're with Ahsoka and yeah. whatnot. Yeah, but so. I'm just saying that crossed my mind. I was sure. like, she's been known to lie. So what if it's not actually a good guy? That's fair. I uh, may be known. I also think that the Bad Batch has the the code and in info. I think Tech has it on this little data pad. So I think they're all walking away with what they wanted. Could totally be wrong. But that's my guess. So we'd be foolish thing. to give away the soul copy. Yeah. I was like, ooh, copy that real quick. Be good. Yeah. So um yeah, I don't know. I'm trying to think. Anything else you want to talk about or add? That's the end of my list, so <laughs> Nope, we can jump to the ratings because I already gave mine. I'm rating it four. Really? Because of the sisters. Oh, come on. <laughs> Seriously? Okay, five. Uh, I'm not, okay. Five. All right. I thought it they was. They really soured it for me. Like, it's fair. Bad. I think, uh, I get it. I don't like them either. I think, that being said, I think this is the best episode that they've and in if that makes sense i don't know this episode was was actually i'm not reading episodes that the sisters show up in i'm reading bad batch episodes i understand i still thought it was a good bad batch episode too okay we got some good character development like last week's was all you know there's the tidbit episode entirely right yeah and now i feel like we got a little bit more we got a little bit more chunkiness this week so i'm gonna rate it better but you do you sorry don't let me sway your review any or your yeah you're rating any any further. I'm willing to lift it up to five, but seriously, I hate those sisters, and I don't want to see them ever again. <laughs> You're going to. I'm sorry. You don't want to. <laughs> you bet. Um, all right, I'm at... Uh, I actually really like this episode. I'm not, I'm not even going to lie. I'd watch it again. In fact, I actually am planning on watching it again sooner rather than later. I'm rating it an eight. So I thought we, like, for me, it was really enjoyable going to Corellia. We talked about the planet, seeing the battle droids, some really good background lore stuff, um, potential further agency for the Bad Batch, depending on what they're doing. Omega mm -hmm. got some good character development, um, some potential tie-ins for Ahsoka and or Rex eventually, um, mystery character. I don't know. I kind of hit all the points for me of kind of what I want in a really good Bad Batch episode. Um, so I'm going to rate it an 8 out of 10, personally. So I told you I really liked it. Yeah, you're allowed. So this is I think this is the furthest... If the sisters were not in it, I'd be rating it the same. Okay. That's, I think this is the this is the uh, biggest uh, difference... Yeah, yeah. Di difference? Difference. Uh, for ratings that we've had so far, so which is yeah. fine. That's just interesting. Yeah. So, um, so wait, what is that? What's the five A? Maybe was that? six point five. Six point five. Oh, thank God for you. All right. <laughs> uh, so six point five out of ten is our uh, accumulative rating, mm -hmm. overall rating. I don't know. Anyway, uh, so there you have it. <clears throat> um, yeah, I don't know. I enjoyed it. Sun bun. I enjoyed Not it until much. people showed up. That's fair. <clears throat> there was some very convenient things in there too that just happened, and I, which I'm not a fan of, but I understand. Anyway, um, but yeah, that's all we got. Uh, next week, Friday, we will have another fantastic review of the episode. Yeah. Uh, thank you for joining us on our discussion and review of episode six of the Bad Batch. If you liked the video, hit like. 
Please subscribe to the channel on a road to 100 subscribers. Once I hit 100 subscribers, I'm gonna have a 100 subscriber special video. So if you wanna see that and one of my dark secrets, uh, hit subscribe now. So otherwise, uh, down below, you can also check out Sanban's channel. She'll be having another uh, video popping up here sooner rather than later. Mm -hmm. um, so that'll be exciting. So yeah, definitely check her out on there on YouTube and Twitch.tv. Uh, I'm on Twitch as well. So once again, Thank you guys so much for watching. Uh, do something good for yourself. Uh, and as always, take care.